Bettys. This is PJ Gatch, Senior Style and Beauty Editor at BettyConfidential.com. I'm here today with Lindsay Evans. He is National Makeup Director for Red Door Spas. We're at Pronovia's backstage. He's getting ready all the models for the bridal fashion show. And what are you doing to her face right now? What we've done is we've actually prepped the skin to give it a little bit more tightness mm -hmm. so that the makeup is going to look a little bit more smoother, more porcelain. And we put a ceramide pumping ultra lift foundation with an SPF 15. And we actually applied it with a foundation brush to create a beautiful finish to it. And then we're finishing up with our mineral powder, which, oh, cool. which is grindable, so it's a fresh mineral giving her that nice tight look. So every time you use the powder, it's fresh and stuff? Absolutely. Every time you use the pressure, the powder, it'll give you a nice boost to the skin. It'll give a nice evenness to the skin. Even after a long day of getting a T-zone of oiliness, mm -hmm. it'll matte it out, but not look overly matte. So you'll still have a little bit of dew without low mica content. Oh, that's so, good. Which is really great. So you don't get all that sh heavy shine. So, or clog the pores. As you can see here, how uh, beautiful. We haven't even put on concealer. No, she looks absolutely luminous. Yeah. She's already beautiful. So. Well, she's got great bone structure. When you're doing runway bridal, is there a difference between that and regular bridal beauty? Absolutely, because you want brides to feel like they can do, that they can look natural and pretty. Because every bride wants to feel like they don't look too heavy. They want their husband to be to recognize them. So it's all about the skin, mm -hmm. most important thing. And then you build from there and contour and key areas to ensure our eyes look nice and bright and big. Mm -hmm. um, and you also have to be careful of how much they tear to ensure that there's no dripping or heavy mascara drip or eyeliner drip. And most importantly, her lips need to le look a little moisturized and, uh, because the skin does flush um, as soon as she gets to the podium you know, for that special day. And that's t typically the temperature of the skin will increase by over 20 degrees. Really? Yeah, because um, what will happen is that the wow. nervousness, tension, stress, the day of the wedding, oh ensuring everything goes well together. So you want to ensure that there's complete, the skin looks nice and fresh throughout the whole day. So I guess to prep the skin right, you have to start with uh, skincare, with with the correct moisturizer and the correct soap and everything else before Absolutely. you even put the makeup on. What's great is we have an amazing program at the Red Door Spas, which actually is uh, tailored. It's a six-week to eight-week program, um, and it basically gets your skin ready and your whole persona ready for your big day. So oh, wow. having manicures, pedicures, facials, having your hair done, and most importantly, the bridal trial for the hair and makeup. And what it does, it gives the bride a sense of security and confidence leading to her wedding. I had no idea there was such a program involved. Oh, what's nice though, if you take care of your skin, you're going to get great results like this. Yeah. And this model alone is, is one that takes great care of her skin. Oh, she does. She really, really does. Now, when you're doing runway bridal beauty, um, what is like the, what's the most important factors? The most important factor, first of all, is having the skin nice and even. So it has to be hydrated, not dry. Mm -hmm. okay, that's the first thing. Second thing is they must always use a great eye cream at least one month before leading up to the wedding. Even if they've never used an eye cream before, it is essential. For dry face, it's essential because what it's going to do, it's going to lower any creases that she may have oh, wow. uh, around the eyes, whether due to computer stress, cell phones, because we screen our eyes, glasses, right. contact lenses. So this will give her a nice, um, fresh eye. The other thing, too, that's really important is having a daily regimen of skin care for the morning and for the evening. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Now, I know there's a difference between bridal beauty and runway bridal beauty. So when you're doing runway bridal beauty, what do you what do you typically emphasize? I really emphasize the contouring because with the heavy white lighting uh -huh. that's on a runway, uh -huh. it will chisel in her face. So you really want to contour these areas through here, her nose area, and really line her eyes because that depth will go to her eyes and then the richness in the lips. So the lips would be intensified a little bit more. And the other thing too for one rate, you build a lot of cream up here and white down here. Oh really? Yeah. Now, if you wanted to take that and do that for street, how could you do that without it being too heavy? Um, what you want to do is just use a little bit of a powder, a lighter tone powder. Uh -huh. You actually dab it on here so you don't get the excess. And what that's going to do, open your eyes, it's going to give you a really soft highlight like that. Oh, how cool. So for every day. So you see it creates a lot of, takes away a lot of shadow in her eyes. I can't believe the difference between the two eyes. That's amazing. So that immediately takes it away. 
Oh, and even okay, if you so put it right across, open your eyes, see what it does. Oh, wow. What yeah. shadows are you using right We're now? We're using the Moonbeam Eye Shadow from Elizabeth Arden. It's, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Close your eyes. And we just put it in this area here, very softly, mm -hmm. with a fluff brush. A fluff brush? Uh-huh. It sounds a, like a candy. Yeah. <laughs> and we do the heavy contour with a crease brush. So that's the key. That's the crease where you do all of these. And then the fluff is a flat. Oh, okay, cool. And if you really want to get into deep crevices, you use a blender brush. A blender which brush. Which goes right in for there. And that blends any dark color to light color. Oh, okay, cool. Very, very cool. Okay. So I know that bridal beauty should be dewy, should be fresh. You almost look, you know, your skin looks like porcelain. And how would you, if you wanted to do that for street, how would you translate that for street? What I would do for street, I would take two of your best eyeshadows, a, deep, a light or a dark, mm -hmm. or a medium to um, a mid-tone color. So what I mean is you could use your warm browns uh, with a vanilla, mm -hmm. or you can use a creamy white with a blue, an indigo blue. Oh, so you get cool. two dramatic appeals. Oh, very cool. And what are your favorite products um, to use? Well, of course, Elizabeth Arden, because I uh, work for the brand. Uh -huh. uh, great products, but there's a lot of amazing products out there from uh, very intense makeup tones, like your MAC Cosmetics to NARS, um, to Makeup Forever. Mm -hmm. um, those are great trendy-based products. Um, High-end products such as Giorgio Armani, incredible. Um, a great staple for a makeup kit is your Maybelline Great Lash. Oh, really? Uh, oh, yeah. Excellent staple. I, one of my favorite products for models and for anyone every day is the two-in-one um, eye makeup remover. It's a half oil, half water. You shake it, it takes off everything while nourishing your lashes. Oh, I need to get that. I have a really bad one well, right now. Mineral powder, of course, is the Elizabeth Arden powder. And you grind it like coffee. Fresh now, coffee. can you use that um, as like a lightweight base? Absolutely. You can actually use it as your foundation without even having to use a liquid. Oh, great. And um, it's a standalone foundation. Oh, nice. And it lets your skin breathe. This is so gorgeous. So now we're taking the mid tone mm -hmm. and putting it in the crease area with a crease brush. Open. And there's a soft and smoke intensity. Oh, my goodness. You look stunning. You look absolutely what? stunning. What is, is that from natural lip color? Because it's gorgeous. Absolutely. What we did is. Um, we nourished it with a moisturizer. It's coming out now. And the heat in here is bringing it out. Okay. So that's a lip moisturizer? What did you use on her lips? It's called a fixative. It's a lip fix. Uh -huh. And you actually put it on as a primer. It primes the lip before the rest of the foundation. Oh, that is so cool. Well, Lindsay, thank you so much. I My really pleasure. appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.